Hey guys, Gian here of GadgetPilipinas.net. Welcome to our second episode of Collab. And we have a special guest, actually it's a special guest. No? Kasi uh, you probably know him already since uh, he's our senior editor at GadgetPilipinas.net. He's also the main man behind SemiCurrent.com. None other than we have Mr. David Gonzalez here with us. Hi guys, I'm joining Gian for the second episode of Collab. And may mga discuss kami today na kalalabas pa lang sa market. Oh, no. Mabung wapo si brother <laughs> Alright, so alright, so again, collab is uh, it's actually called collaboration. It's a video, it's an episodic video where we discuss certain topics with our friend bloggers. So this time we we have uh, uh, David here of Semi Current also with us as GadgetPilipinas.net's uh, senior editor. And this time we're going to talk about one of the brands na kailan lang nagpakilala in the Philippines. Yes. Right? But before we do that, is we're gonna ask first uh, David about what he does at semicurrent.com, what it is all about, and after that, we're gonna delve into Zook. That is uh, the new brand that we're gonna talk about, or Z-U-K. Tama, no? Z-U-K. Z-U-K. And we have a phone uh, to show you later on. We have a black and a white version of the phone. Yes. Yeah, okay. So, without further much ado, let's proceed now with our first topic for today. Uh, we have first uh, David of Semicurrent. Bro, can you tell us about your blog? Of course, Semicurrent. Kung nagbabasa kayo ng gadget Pilipinas, tapos nakita niyo yung mga reviews ko doon, probably napansin niyo na yung little uh, bio or snippet about me na merong link papunta sa Semicurrent.com. And if you're in love with gadgets, techy kayo or nerds kayo, you've probably already read some of the uh, stories na sinulat ko doon. And yeah. reviews also. And also reviews. Yes, uh, it's similar sa Gadget Pilipinas, may mga tech news and tech reviews. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi siya ganun ka updated. Alright, uh, okay, the reason, that's the reason why you called it semi current. Semi current. Sa Tagalog? Medyo lang. Medyo. <laughs> medyo current. <laughs> okay, medyo current. Right. So, that's, that's basically the difference, the main difference between your blog, what you do at your blog, and also with Gadget Pilipinas, Gadget Pilipinas. and also with the other. Probably side uh, rackets that you do. No? Because I believe that you are a freelance writer. Yes. Right? So you write in different uh, publications as well. Right? Yes. Uh, if hindi ako nato sulat sa Gadget Pilipinas or Semi Current, and my time I uh, write also for other uh, publications. Tulad ng sila ni Gian. Yeah. Pero mostly nakabilad lang ako sa araw ng lalaro ng football. Yes. And Kung pumunta kayo ng UP de Man or Ateneo de Manila, maglaro tayo football. So you're into football now. So, yun, yun matagal, yeah, matagal, na. matagal na. So, how long have you been playing football? Konti lang, oh, siguro mga 5 years kaya. Hindi pa ganoon katagal. 5 years, ha? Yes. <laughs> Mas matagal pa rin yung uh, time ko spent with gadgets and gizmos. With gizmos. So, yun. Kaya dito tayo ngayon para pag-usapan ang um, bagong phone. Yep. Which is the? ZUK. ZUK. Z1 Z- smartphone. Z1. So, yeah. We have here uh, the ZUK. Uh, we have here the Z1. Can you show your uh, your version of the Z1? ZUK Z1. So yung black or charcoal gray version. Charcoal gray version. You're also seeing a copy of it or another video there. Yes. Back. Then also we have here an unboxed. No, hindi pa actually still boxed. Boxed. <laughs> boxed. No. And uh, an open. An open. An open uh, white version yes. of the ZUK Z1. So ito yung black version ng ZUK Z1, and this is uh, the. Uh, white version of the ZUK Z1. As you can see, hindi pa siya bukas. And we're gonna open it for all of you para makita na nyo kung ano yung laban niya. Ito yung uh, box ng black. Black version. We're not gonna show you yet kung gano'ng ka-awesome yung box it's really niya. Awesome. It's really nice. It's really nice. At uh, siguro, uh, among the packages I've seen in the past, ito siguro yung may pinakamaganda na box na nakita ko. I agree. I agree. So, alright. So, without further much ado, again, let us now open the white version of the ZUK Z1. So let's open it up from the top. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Nice. So as you can see, it's still unopened. It's sealed, sealed, but not anymore. <laughs> okay, so here's the ZUK Z1. Alright, so. And for comparison, it's the black version. The black version. I'm gonna show that it's white. So, meron siya ditong uh, parang sticker. Sticker, you peel it off, and then after that, you reveal what's inside. O, di ba? Parang libro. Parang libro. Uh, parang siya libro. This is the white version 
of uh, the ZUK Z1. Ang ganda niya tingnan. And, uh, can you simply remove this? Yeah. Okay. Let's put it aside for now. Then, let's explore. Tingnan pa natin, no? Ganun ulit. Ganun ulit. Ganun ulit. Ganun ulit. Ganun ulit. So, buklat-buklat lang pala ito. Mm -hmm. And then, you find here the uh, no box. no boxes. Box yung charger, mm -hmm. USB cable, and uh, SIM adapter with SIM ejector, SIM ejector tool with the manual. With all the manuals inside. Mm -hmm. okay, so, nandito yung mga manuals niya. It's inside this little box. And then, uh, we have here the adapter, power adapter. Yes. Okay. And uh, we have the uh, USB, USB cable. Now, the USB, this one is intriguing because this uses uh, USB type, uh, C, type C, USB 3 type C. USB 3 type C. So, kakay ba siya? Kakay ba siya. So, tinan natin yung mga laman niya. That one. It is a Lenovo company. Can you tell us about, about this? Kasi, intriguing siya kasi ZUK is quite an unknown brand in the Philippines. But they're posing themselves as a Lenovo company. Can you tell us well, about Well, yeah. I, I met with the... Uh, nung nag-present nag sila, nung nag-launch yung ZUK Z1 mm -hmm. last week. Last week, yes. Uh, In-explain nila na ZUK is a subsidiary. So, it's, it's a, a so tinuturing nila na parent company yung Lenovo. Mm -hmm. But they are two completely separate entities. So, okay. You won't see any ZUK products sa mga Lenovo stores, Lenovo concept stores. But may mga plan yung ZUK to put up their own uh, stores or even maybe experiential uh, centers in, in malls. In malls, but not in Lenovo stores. No. As, I, as, I, as I know, there are quite a lot of Lenovo stores already popping up. Yes. Yeah, no? So, right, but they, next, won't, no, they won't use it. They won't use it to market and also to show ZUK okay, yeah. phones. So we're expecting that they're gonna put up their own concept stores. They are. Well, not exactly concept stores, but maybe some of multi brands. They'll uh, they'll go to some stores where ah, all right. other phones. Uh, but they'll put up their own uh, booths. Booths. Okay. So. Galing, eh? Ito yung kanyang, uh, wall chargers. Wall charger. 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 It's very portable. And here, ito yung uh, USB cable niya. It's neatly wrapped. Huh? It's flat and thick. And meron siyang parang organizer. Uh, ah, that is... You can wrap around where oh. para hindi siya mag makalat or ma magulo di pa sa bag. Oh, man. So, ito siya. Ang pinakaiba niya sa USB, micro USB na ginagamit now is, well, almost same size, right? Almost same size. That's right. Pero, ano na siya eh, uh, reversible. Mm -hmm. So, that hindi mo na siya kailangan isaksak ng certain way para pumasok sa butas ng phone mo. Mm -hmm. Automatically, pwedeng this uh, side up or this side up. So, it doesn't siya. matter. Yes. Doesn't so now anyway, so again, what you can see here inside the box, you have uh, the manuals and also the quick uh, ejector tool, the uh, power adapter, mm -hmm. and that neatly cable. wrapped cable. And of course, let's not forget the white version. In this case, white version of the ZUK. All right. So it says here, uh, please tear before using. There's a ZUK branding over there. And at the back. Uh, note, this battery is unremovable if you want change, if you want to change, there are some grammatical errors here. <laughs> if you want to change the battery, comma, dapat comma, please contact our customer service station. Okay, please reserve this protector film with your warranty card so you don't throw this away since it's a requirement if you find uh, this, your gadget, uh, Kailangan ng warranty. Uh, uh, medyo defective. Right. So for now, hindi mo na Okay. But let's uh, open it up. Okay, so the vibrate siya. So we charge, my initial charge to mention. Charge. So By the way, yung battery ng Z1 is 4,100 milliamp hour. 4 1, that's a lot. Yes. Okay, and in your experience, how long did it last? That 4,000 plus? Around two days. Around two days. Yes. Okay, so that's pretty nice for a flagship grade kind yes, of definitely. smartphone. So it's uh, opening up. Now, let me now ask you about, uh, oh, it's Cyanogen OS. I think that's one of the good things about this, no? It's running on Lollipop Cyanogen yes. OS. It's based on Android 5.1 Lollipop. Okay. Pero hindi siya stock Lollipop, kundi uh, Cyanogen OS siya. So it's modified and may mga dinagdag na features na wala sa basic or standard Android uh, OS. Okay, like what? Uh, you've, you've, I think you've uh, played the device for a week now. Yes. Uh, Isang example is, is uh, sa dialer niya, mm -hmm. meron siyang feature where ibablock niya yung mga unknown numbers. Pwede mo siyang iset. Kasi ah, okay. 
Di ba normally pag may tawag sa'yo, anyone can call you as long as they have your phone number. Okay. But you can set it up so that walang makakatawag sa'yo na hindi mo nakasave sa phone. Ah, okay. So, pwede yung automatic block sila. Yes, automatic block. That's a pretty nice feature. And then, uh, sa security rin niya, mm-hmm. mga new features na wala sa standard. Where, for example, kung gumagamit kayo ng PIN password to unlock um, the phone. Like for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, ganyan. Diba, if familiar kayo doon, lalabas yung uh, PIN, yung number pad dito, diba? Nung pad, oh, so you oh. can type in your PIN. Pero sa Cyanogen OS, nagsascramble siya. Ah, yung number. Right, so, hindi, if, for example, nakita ng so, tao patabi mo yung PIN mo, hindi niya makarabasado yung... Nakita niya yung daliri mo kung saan mo tinuldok. Diba? This okay. time, Okay, so parang minimik nila dito yung sa credit card. Yes, yeah, so online banking. Online banking. Nagjo-juggle yung, or nagsuswitch yung numbers, yung numbers, yung placement exactly. yung numbers. So maganda so, yun. It's a really nice uh, feature. Kasi yeah. personally, I don't use the PIN to unlock the phone. Dahil nga dun, na madali siya kami sa doon. Uh, if katabi mo yung mga kita. But dahil dun sa scrambling feature, yun nagamit ka siya ngayon. Scrambling feature. Now, uh, another security feature here is that this one features a fingerprint sensor. It does. Okay. Yung home button ng Zoom Z1, it has a built-in fingerprint scanner. So it, oh, so it's like the Galaxy S6 and also the iPhone 6S yes. and 6S Plus. No? Hindi ko pa siya nagamit ganun ka extensively, oh. but sa pagka, nung tinry ko siya, gumana naman, nakapag-set ako ng fingerprint mm-hmm. uh, para gamitin. And okay. then, nagamit ko siya, na-unlock naman siya. Okay naman siya. Mm-hmm. And I would think that you can set more than one fingerprint. Yes, may options ka rin para gawin. Okay, so, ayan, no? Uh, I, I, well, let's talk about the build no? before we delve into uh, yes. the software, the OS. Uh, I, well, to me, the build is pretty solid. No, ang ganda. May konti siyang bigat. No, yes. Pero yes. ba kalito? No? Mm-hmm. It's metallic. It's metallic. No, and uh, the back of the white one. I don't, I don't know with the with the other one. Medyo ceramic yung build nito. Yes. It's, uh, yung white body is glossy. Glossy. But the uh, black one is matte. Okay, so that's the difference. So, so if you, kung may yung preference, kung gusto mo ng glossy or matte, pipili ka lang either white or black. White or black. So this one, no, may, pag kinawa ka mo siya, medyo may konti siyang brushed feeling, like brushed, metal. No, brushed metal feel. Pero this one, may ceramic. So Very for smooth. some people, ako, like in my case, I I prefer this kind because pagka medyo may konting pawis, huh? nag-grab, nag- may grip eh, may additional grip siya. For me, no, for me. So I kind of prefer this. No? The one with matte. How about you? I prefer the matte. The matte. Because it's more simple. I think that's more. Uh, for me, it's more uh, appealing. The minimalist na look. Niya. The minimalist. Okay, so, okay, so let's uh, give them a tour of uh, the device. Here is the screen. The screen is uh, what is five. Uh, five point five full HD. Full IPS HD. Ten eighty p. Right. Uh, IPS display, and up top is uh, the earpiece. Yes, uh, and uh, we have here the uh, eight megapixel front, uh, camera. front camera, and at the bottom there is a home button with uh, uh, at the, below the screen rather there's a home button and there are two capacitive buttons beside it. So meron siya. Meron so sandwich siya ng dalawang yes. capacitive buttons. Right. Na quite intriguing kasi ang kulay niya, ang itsura niya ay dalawang tulbog lang. Okay. Simple lang siya. Simple lang siya. O, hindi siya yung left or right. Probably because I haven't actually explored this yet, but probably in Cyanogen you can switch it. Kung pwede siyang back or or menu. Or that access. would be that would be useful. Yes. Because as you can see, wala siyang way to distinguish between the two buttons. Mm-hmm. So you have to guess at first. Oh, kung ano? No? Although when you finally figure it out, na ito palang back. At default. Ito, ito yung uh, ito yung reset apps. Madali na siyang tandaan ng gamit. Um, okay. So there is also an option where you can. Just simply use uh, on screen on screen keys. But again, let's go back later to the uh, software side. Mm-hmm. At the back of the device, there is a 16 megapixel uh, rear facing camera. Yes. Tamas? Both screen. are BSI, by the way. BSI uh, supported. Siya. BSI yung harap, sa kayong likod. At sa baba nun, meron dalawang LED flash. flash. And sandwich nilang dalawa yung microphone. Additional mm-hmm. microphone for noise cancellation. Tapos may branding ng CU. What can you see naman sa right side ng device, uh, David? So right side, uh, meron lang siyang power button and volume rocker. Mm-hmm. So yun lang, wala na ibang uh, pipindot dito. Like okay. uh, wala siyang camera shutter. Walang camera shutter. And then on the left side? On the left, you'll find yung ano niya, SIM card. SIM card. SIM card slot. Uh, is it dual SIM? Dual SIM siya, pero dual nano SIM. Dual nano SIM. So you will have to 
you know, uh, parang cut na lang. Kung sakaling halimbawa meron kang micro or meron kang standard set. Okay, uh, is it, uh, um, is the memory uh, expandable? Yun lang. Yung ex memory niya is not expandable. So, okay. wala nang room, wala nang siya micro SD card slot or hindi mo pwede palitan yung isang SIM card ng micro SD. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, good news is, yung internal memory ng Zoom Z1 is 64 gigs. Okay, uh, 64, 64 gigs. Yeah. So, 64 gigs siya, agad. Yes. So, okay lang na kung sakali naman eh, normally kasi ka ang telepono, isa sa 16 gig, no? and then upgradable to another 60, 16 more or 32. Mm -hmm. This time, you don't need an expa you don't need another expansion slot because at the onset, or sisimula pa lang, 64, 64 gig na yan, na. yung telepono. And ang kinagandaan nun is, if, kung gusto mo pang gumili ng isang 64 gig na phone, ano mga choices mo? Uh, iPhone, 6, iPhone 6. Which cost how much? It would cost you for 6S probably around 43,000. 40 plus k, right? 40 plus, 45. But this thing, how much does it cost of it? It's 15,990, if I'm saying? 15, 15, 15,299. 15,299. So, so napakamura niya for a 64 gigabyte phone. So, you're telling me that this one costs 15,299 and then Apart from that, uh, you get a 64 gig internal memory. Yes. You get 16 megapixel BSI supported, na rear facing, rear facing. and 8 megapixel rear su uh, BSI front. supported, the front, and then you have 5.5 inch full, full HD. HD screen, mm -hmm. and then also meron ka fingerprint sensor sa baba. Yes. Sa baba no? Speakers. Nasa Speakers ilalim. Ito nasa ilalim. So, baka may naalala kayo, may, baka familiar yung design niya. Uh, medyo may pagka-iPhone-ish. <laughs> Pero maganda naman yung pagkaagawa niya. Uh, Oo. Actually, hindi siya mukhang copycat. Mukha mukha copycat. Uh, and look, well, the, the strips are actually the antennas. No? No, <laughs> yes, no? yes, yes, yes. The and pansinin nyo yung USB port na katabi niya. Uh, okay, it's uh, USB, USB 3, 3, 3 Type-C. So, Yun lang. So, sa mga naghahanap at meron kayong mga existing na mga accessories that are on micro USB, then I guess uh, you won't be able to use this unless there's already an available uh, adapter that Magagamit. you can use. Magagamit mo yun. Pero kung may makikita ka na, I don't think na meron na available. Wala ba? Na wala pa ako nakita. Um, tell us in the comment section kung may nakita na kayo. Anyway, so, at least para matulungan nyo din kami na magamit naman namin yung mga existing na mga... Yes. USB OTG, USB OTG. Kasi, like Chargers. for example, in the case of Asus uh, ZenPad S 8.0, mm -hmm. that that is also uh, USB, USB 3 Type C, no? Mm -hmm. So, uh, meron akong USB na OTG cable. Gusto ko sana gamitin and I realized, yeah. ah, o nga pala, no? USB 3 Type C nga pala to. So, there, uh, there you have it. So, okay, let's now talk about quickly about uh, software. the software. What can you say about the software? Uh, Other than the things that you mentioned earlier. It's just like Android. It's just like Android Lollipop. Alright. So, kung ano yung kinasanayan yung features and options sa Android, nandito siya lahat. Alright. Kasama na yung mga dinagdag na features na tulad ng mga binanggit ko kanina with the security and uh, the uh, dial pad. Dial pad. And also, may mga addition din sa music. Meron siyang audio uh, enhancement feature. Audio enhancement feature. Okay. Which kailangan mo lang pindutin tong button dito and gagana na siya automatically. Ah, okay. So... Just one thing. So, para siya, para siya yung equalizer presets. Yes. Okay. That's really nice. About... Uh, yung look niya pala, look. yung uh, standard na draw, app drawer niya, it's different. Look, pwede mo siyang scroll up and down. Ah, uh, okay. So, that's kind of similar to Marshmallow. Yes. Kasi Marshmallow, ganyan yung itsura. Diba? And then, pwede ka mag-search with the letters of the penalty. So, we're gonna give you a close-up of that Hindi later. mo sa mga ordinary na lollipop phones. Oh, okay, okay. That's, that's really, that's the power of Cyanogen. Uh, Cyanogen is actually a third-party uh, ROM. Yes. Developed by people. Na sobrang galing sa coding, guys. <laughs> galing yun talaga. Nakagawa sila ng sitting <laughs> ng version oh, oh. ng Android. Oh, okay. So, what is that? Ito yung uh, version ng Cyanogen mod na Ah, na lollipop. Easter egg. Uh, Easter egg. Uh, when you tap it, uh, what do you use? tap it, it changes the color of the lollipop. And so, if you long press it, so lalabas the yung uh, Flappy Bird type. Oh, game. pero hindi siya Flappy Bird. Ano siya? Ah, it's the Cyanogen logo. Yes, the mascot. Uh, the mascot. Ah, cool. Ang galing, ah. Yeah. <laughs> Nakaka-addict din. Oo nga. Mukha nga. Mukhang natapos mo na yata yun. Eh. <laughs> okay, so, solid. 
ang build solid then ang OS yes okay so how about the camera ah uh, yung camera performance in uh, daylight so daylight the, mm -hmm. ang comment ko nga ang comment ng isang mga friends ko na pinatry ko sa kanya is uh, parang pwede na sa news or pwede na pang TV ah pang TV oh, okay kung kapsa lang sa video recording so sobrang ganda Pwede na lang natin sa kanila yung sample. Yes, I will give you a show yung sample. Ganoon siya kalinaw pagka maliwanag yung paligid. Although, hindi okay. ko siya na-test sa gabi. So, I'm oh, yeah, not sure. Okay. So, the first impressions of uh, the ZUK Z1 is now available to be read at gadgetphilippines.net and soon we'll be posting our review of the Z1 as well. Yes. So, we'll just take a look at the links uh, so, down imagine. below. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. So, verdict. At least maaga pa, no? pero can you please give us your verdict? Oh, but before that, battery. Oh yeah, uh, battery. Sinabi ko kanina, 4,100, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. Ma matagal siya. Mm -hmm. uh, about about two days of uh, normal to heavy use. Mm -hmm. Includes online, uh, LTE, ganyan. Yeah. Although, hindi naman siya continuous LTE usage. Maybe continuous Wi-Fi usage. Continuous Wi-Fi. Tuloy-tuloy siya, no problem. Hindi pa ako nalolobat. Okay. Kailangan talaga, or aabutin ah, talaga ako na matutulog na ako bago siya malobat. Mm -hmm. mga ganong klaseng yun, hindi ko siya ginagamit. Pero madaling naman sa pag-charge. Mm -hmm. Sabi nila, di ba, meron siyang quick charging feature. There is? Uh, so far sa testing ko, hindi ko pa siya maramdaman. Ayun, okay. So, gamit ko yung uh, standard or uh, bundled the charger you and cable. You provided a cable. Hindi ko siya ma-testing maigi. Kasi nung pinagsabay ko siya gamit yung isang power bank ko, halos sabay lang sila nag-charge nung power bank with a regular USB cable. So, maybe malakas na talaga mag-charge yung power bank. Mabilis mag-supply yung inner What charge. power bank did you use? Ginamit ko yung as uh, Zen Power. Zen uh, Power. Power bank ko. Okay. So, halos sabay lang sila nung Zen Phone na charge ko and then ito. Ah, which Zen Phone? Zen Phone kasi sports uh, mm, picture charging. charging din, di ba? So, I'll titas ko pa muna para malam na confirm natin kung talagang okay yung quick charging niya. And uh, I think yung quick charging niya applies for short uh, periods of time lang, di ba? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, like, uh, as far as I know, uh, you know, for example, the charge ka, up to 30 minutes, it can charge up to two hours, two, uh, two hours no, less than two hours, full charge ka. But right. normally, kapag in 30 minutes, dapat nasa 54% na charge yung telepono. Because okay. if, I, if I remember correctly, si, si Vuk ganun eh, ni uh, uh, nung, uh, Oppo. No? But, uh, Let's see. Now, let's see. I guess uh, in our full review, we'll see an update about the uh, quick charge feature of the ZUK Z1. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, your verdict? My early verdict, uh, basahin nyo yung first impressions and early review ko sa Gadget Pilipinas. Sabi ko doon na uh, malaki yung potential ng phone na to para maging uh, favorite ngayong holiday season. Mm -hmm. Dahil sa sobrang mura niya, malaki yung battery at saka yung internal memory. And malaki siya. Uh, physically, it's physically. a 5.5 inch phone, which is ganito klase yung phone yung sikat ngayon sa Pilipinas, di ba? Oh, yeah. Dahil sa mga mahili maglaro ng COC, Candy Crush, yeah. maglaro ng movies, uh, Game of Thrones, ganyan. And yeah. Hearthstone. Yeah. Di ba? <laughs> <laughs> yung favorite mga Pinoy ngayon, malaking screen. So, immediately pasok siya sa at least screen, battery, memory, three categories. Three categories. Pasok agad. So, kung bibili ka ng phone, di ba? Pasok agad siya. So, for me, malaki potential niya to be one of the favorites this year. Right. So, thank you very much, David, for sharing us your thoughts okay. about uh, the ZUK Z1 and ZUK and more power on Semi Curlet and also Gadget Philippines. Thank you. We're very happy. We're very lucky to have you as our senior editor, by the way. And uh, I thank you for that. Huh? So, that's about it, guys. Thank you very much for watching our second episode of Collab Video. And see you again next time. Bye. Bye.